Welcome back again in Fania's Indonesia's Kitchen. Today I'm going to cook a special food from Jakarta. It's a street food. They call it Soto Betawi. It's gonna be looks like this. Look at that. Mm, looks good. And in here I already prepared all the ingredients. So guys, the first ingredient I have, I have five shallot here, five garlic, five candle nuts, five red chili, and the last one is the fresh turmeric. It's like around four centimeter. And the second ingredient I have here, two lemongrass, some smash of ginger, together smash of galangal or red ginger, two cardamom, one star anise, four cloves, quarter of teaspoon of ground cinnamon, two bay leaves, and five lime leaves. And the third ingredient here, I have half teaspoon of cumin powder, and then half teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of loiko or beef salt, two teaspoon of Himalayan salt, and the last one is one teaspoon of white ground pepper. So guys, soto betawi is cooked with a beef shank. So I have some beef shank here that I already marinated with the lemon juice and some salt. It's ready to be boiled with the water. And the signature of soto betawi is come from the coconut milk and the regular whole milk. Here. So I have 400 ml of coconut milk and also 2 cups of fresh milk. It's gonna give the rich flavor and tasty. Okay guys, the first step is fry all this, the first ingredient here on the plate. We're gonna fry with the oil here. One, two, three. Just fry it until it's... We have kind of boiled that a bit. So guys, some of recipe or some people in Indonesia, they like to cook it without frying the ingredient. But I prefer to fry it because it gives a better flavor for the soup. And while I'm frying this, I'm gonna dump the beef shank into the boiling water. Just let them cook while waiting for the ingredient. Right, now I already moved the first ingredient that just fried into the mortar and pestle. We're gonna start grinding all of them together like this. And also to make it easier for grinding it, we can put some seasoning mix in my soup. So it's easier for you to grind it. Babe, do you wanna try to do this? Yeah, I can. can help me, I think. Your hand is much stronger than mine. Okay, I can do this. Ooh, salt bay in action. Looking good, huh? Thank you. You're doing great. Am I? Yep. All right, good. I'm glad you approve. <laughs> Grinding it like. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the proper technique. You just need to. Do it by your heart. <laughs> Grind it by your heart. Oh, I was grinding it with my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping me in the kitchen, as always. Pull those sleeves up. No luck. Mm, that's the proper technique. Baby Asa. So this is how it looks, the ground ingredient after I finish grinding them very well. And now we are ready to fry it with the oil, of course. Now I'm ready to put the second ingredient, lemongrass, galangal, ginger, lime leaves, Bay leaves, cardamom, sardanish, cloves, and grooms. Together until you can like smell something smell good like the garlic smell because so many spices in here, right? But if you do this and you can smell something like, oh, it's not of garlic. So this point is ready to be put in the beef. I think I did 
it like one more minute. So for the seasoning guys, I'm gonna put everything here except the white ground pepper. We're gonna put the white ground pepper, the last one. So I'm gonna start dumping the cumin, coriander, sugar, roiko, the beef, salt, Himalayan salt. Everything looks good. It's ready to be put together with the beef. Okay, we're gonna still cook the beef for about one hour at least until all the ingredients absorb. Alright guys, as you see here, the beef looking good. I have option actually. Some people they like to fry it just to make it more crunchy and I'm gonna fry it to beef I take out now from the soup. It's just gonna be crunchy and more tasty. But if you don't like to fry it then it's fine. Have it. Fry it there a couple minutes. Okay, after fry it for a couple minutes, I'm gonna put it aside. All the beef, and we're gonna go back to the soup. Because for the last step, I'm gonna put the coconut milk and all milk. So the last step of cooking soto batawi is adding the coconut milk. We're gonna put the coconut milk first. Make sure you keep stirring it. And the last one, guys, add the whole milk. Keep stirring it, guys, so that milk won't get chunky. And let it until boil a little bit. And it's gonna be ready. And we're gonna ready to serve the beef with the, some other veggies. So, guys, the reason why I put the ground white pepper as the last ingredient in the soup. It's because it's just to give the better flavor and great smell. And it's almost ready. I just need to be waiting until it gets boiled everything. And also, I'm gonna inform you or let you know that I'm gonna take out all the lemongrass and the star anise and like the heart. So it won't be too strong, I mean the flavor it won't be too strong later because now all the ingredients is already mixed together and give a great taste. If you don't believe me, I'm gonna ask my husband to try it. <laughs> yeah, it's like we just need to be preparing the rest of the ingredient. That tastes so good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, now I really want it to be finished already. All right. So guys, these all are the additional ingredients that we're gonna eat together with the beef. First, I'm gonna put the beef. Ping Malinjo chips. This is very, it's a must. And as you see here, I already removed all the leaves from the soup and only the bones. I keep them because, of course, the flavor came out from the bone and everything there. So, yes. Soup into the bowl. Look at that. The soup, soup the bone marrow made inside. Oh my god, babe. I can't 
can't believe I made this tonight. This yeah. is my favorite food. Whenever I visit Jakarta, street food, I go to Soto Betawi because it just tastes so good. And then the last one, the last, sprinkle with the fried shallot. With soy sauce. If you like so spicy, you can also put this some sambal chili. So I'm gonna give to my husband, the one that been recording me and very patient. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Spicy bit, for you? A little bit spicy, not too spicy. Because I perfect. put some chili, red chili in the soup. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Amazing. Do you want some of Soto Batawi, Layla, Princess Layla? She's gonna be Yeah, you're gonna get some. Here. Layla. 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 Want some beef? Pa. Layla. Pa. Good girl. Yes. Yummy. So is it worth it? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have like four bowls of it. <laughs> yes, oh my god. Does remind you of home? <laughs> I'm not lying, I'm not joking. I'm so proud of myself, really. Yeah, I am too. So good. watching my youtube channel and especially cooking the soto betawi tonight if you guys like this meal please comment and like the video and subscribe don't forget and i'll see you in the next video bye bye